Let's start by defining functions of a complex variable. And the definition will not be surprising at all. Let's say we have a function of a complex variable z. That complex variable z obviously depends on a real part and an imaginary part. So we can write this as f of x plus jy. And then our function f of z, if we uh, put in a complex number as an input, what we will get out will also be a single complex number. So it will also have a real part u and an imaginary part v. We can actually also write this as u plus jv. And the real part u will obviously depend on the inputs x and y if we write it as two real variables and the same for v. So basically a complex valued function f of z is a shortcut or a different way of writing an object that takes two inputs, real valued inputs x and y, and then also spits out, spits out two real valued outputs u and v. So this is a definition which makes a lot of sense, it's very intuitive. Let's now see this in action and let's start by giving you two functions u and v. And the question is, can you figure out uh, what the function is if you write it as a function of a single complex variable z? So as for u of x and y, we're going to use x squared minus y squared and v of x, y. Let's say that that's the function 2xy. Question is, what is the corresponding f of z here? Pause the video, scribble down a few equations and see if you can figure out what f of z is. Pretty straightforward, just apply the definitions. We've defined f of z as u plus jv real part plus j times the imaginary part real time real part here was x squared minus y squared and then the imaginary part that will give us 2j x and y now with a little bit of thought you will soon realize that this is actually x plus j y squared right so uh, this double product here ends up there and then j squared is minus 1, so that also makes sense. And since we now have here x plus jy, that's actually just z squared. So it's much more compact to write down a function f of z is z squared, rather than explicitly providing the real part and the imaginary part as a function of x and y. So this is the familiar square uh, function, but in the complex domain. Good, let's now do another example, but let's move in the other direction. Let's say I give you a function f of z expressed in terms of complex variables, z times the complex conjugate of z. Can you write that down as u and v as two real valued functions of two real inputs x and y? Pause the video and uh, do a couple of simple calculations to end up with a result. Again, pretty trivial. So f of z is z, which is x plus jy. Complex conjugate is x minus jy. And that turns out to be equal to x squared plus y squared. So u of x and y is therefore just x squared plus y squared. And there's no imaginary part, which means that v is just equal to zero. But all of these examples just show you that it's much more compact to write down a complex function as uh, in terms of the variable z itself.